next thing I've got is this little needle saw, jab saw. Uh, I do have a habit of uh, snapping these things off, going a bit ham-fisted with them when we're pruning the trees in the garden. And I've managed to, uh, well, let's so just say I haven't got one of these at the moment, but now I have, so that's good. Put that over there to one side. Next thing, impact sockets. Now, uh, I found out from a supplier the other day, US Pro is Bergen. Uh, Bergen, if anybody buys those brands, they Bergen are rebranding to US Pro. So I don't know if that's in readiness for them having a push into the North American market. I'm not sure. Um, but basically, um, that's what they're changing to. Bergen are going to become US Pro. These are quarter inch shallow. You've got so, uh, four mil, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, and then all the way up to 15. So um, that's the sort of complete kit for those. And I have gone a bit uh, mad now. Christmas is over. Um, my birthday, which was just before Christmas is over. Um, I've gone a bit mental now, uh, buying some of the tools that I wanted uh, from Amazon and places like that. So. Uh, there's probably going to be a couple of tool haul videos uh, coming up over the next uh, month or so. Um, but these are nice. They're uh, chrome molly. Uh, six points. They come on these rails. I'm not a big fan of these rails because you can never get them off easier. I've bought some more uh, socket storage uh, trays. The same as, I think it's in America, they're Hanson trays where you drop them on. And I think Harbour Freight in America uh, do some. I've got a set already with uh, my standard sockets on. Uh, bought a slightly different design where instead of the numbers being on each of the posts, there's a sort of semicircle in between them and the posts are much shallower so they're not prone to uh, snapping off. Which I've, I've had one snap off, uh, but uh, I don't... And try out this other design so we'll have a look at them uh, when they turn up so that's good now also on the socket vein I was very lucky enough to get these uh, these sockets were from my um, youngest son uh, uh, and these were a little hard to come by I think but anyway I've got them now and then uh, these ones are a half inch deep drive set. These are from Sealy, I think. Uh, Chromoly again. Uh, laser etched on the socket themselves and these are 10 right through to 22, then 24, 27, 30 and 32. So you've got some uh, good size uh, sockets there, all six point. They come in this uh, blow molded case which um, I shall take them out and I'll put them into the tool trays in the tool chest. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with these cases because they can come in handy for other things. I might just cut the interior out of it and use it for a, a case for something else that perhaps hasn't got a um, home for anything. But yeah, these are really great. They've got the, you know, the sort of standard hole in for the ball bearing retainer so really pleased with them okay moving on power inverter so I've been meaning to pick up one of these power inverters for my Jeep for a long time so when we go on our little overland trips or camping trips and things like that um, I haven't got anything set up for standard three pin domestic power when we're away. I've got a solar thing and I've got a 12 volt power on the Jeep in the front and back. But I shall um, put this in. It's not pure sine wave, I don't think. It says it's rated to 2000 watts. So when we, uh, I'll, I'll perhaps do a video in the installation of this if anybody's interested. Uh, if you are, leave leave me a note in the comments and um, I'll video that. Uh, you've got your on-off switch at the end, three-pin socket for the UK, 
uh, USB, uh, power and overload warning. It's got an uh, overload circuit on it so it will switch itself off if it does get overloaded. So we'll test that to see um, what that sort of is rated up to. So it says 2000 watts and we'll see about that. It does come uh, with, uh, I reckon that's 8 gauge possibly. Yes. Oh, 10 gauge. It's 10 gauge cable. Uh, that will be way too short. Um, I have got some uh, 8 gauge that I use to fit uh, amplifiers and things into cars. I tend to do uh, quite a lot of that over time. Uh, I'll probably use this if there's enough there to find a decent earth point in the rear. And yeah, I'll mount that in the Jeep. So that is really, really good. Pleased to have that. Uh, it'll certainly be useful when we're out and about in the Jeep. Uh, for you know, there's some things that you buy that you can recharge, you know, like lanterns and things. That sometimes they don't come with a 12 volt uh, charge circuit. They're still 24, uh, 240 volts for the UK. So um, yeah, so that's great. So that's that. Moving on, you can see how lucky I was. All these great tools. So, oh, falling out here. Ratchet spanners. So I didn't have any flex head ratchet spanners at all. I've got these. They're 72 teeth, and they go from 8 mil up to 19. Um, without skipping any, which is nice. Uh, I've got now a full set from 6 mil up to 27 in standard ratchet, but I haven't got any of the flex head ratchets. So uh, I'm pleased with these. The finish is nice. They're, they're not dirty or anything. It's just where they're cold and they're getting condensation on them. Although the shed is quite warm. The, you know, I put the, sh the heat on a little while ago. It gets up to temperature in here quite quickly now. Uh, the tools themselves are quite cold through sitting in here. So once again, super pleased with these. Um, I'm probably getting to the end of the spanners that I need now. I have got my eye on a set of um, 25 fixed combination spanners, um, polished chrome, uh, made by Sealy in the UK. Although, once again, they're probably a, a set that are um, probably manufactured in China or somewhere and then sold under a number of brands, but I've heard good things about them. Um, so I may uh, buy them uh, in the future as my last sort of spanner purchase. And then, to be honest, I don't think there's anything else I'm going to need spanner-wise. Um, I've got quite a few now. So, yeah, they're great. Next up, stubby ratchets. So these are US Pro, uh, which I said earlier is actually Bergen. They rebrand into US Pro. Uh, these are 72 tooth. Uh, quick release. Part number is uh, 4129. Um, there's been a few times where I could have done with pretty much the head and a, a bit of handle, but not sort of the full full size. Um, I mean, if you take that, that's the three eighths compared to that. If you, in terms of having a arc of swing, you know, that's very small. They're not. Um, if you're looking for a stubby with a tiny head they're probably not going to be for you perhaps because they're sort of the standard heads on them with uh, a very short handle but for what I want they are excellent yeah very pleased with them um, I think I might even keep them in this tray but the, the tray is super chunky I, I mean you could you could probably take that off to there and it still be adequately uh, deep enough to hold them so I might just run that through the bandsaw uh, for them to be able to uh, sit in the tray uh, in the toolbox. So, 
that's that. And uh, bolsters and chisels. Haven't got many bolsters and chisels. I have just bought a set of chisels, uh, punches and things uh, from eBay when I had my little evening of madness. Um, but they, these will come in really useful. Uh, I would have really appreciated this when I was building the workshop doing the brick word because I was actually cutting bricks with a small axe, would you believe? Um, which is an old English, I think it's a Cornish axe, probably 18 something or other. So really pretty poor of me perhaps to be using that. But I'll tell you what, it didn't make a mark on the axe head, but it cut through those bricks, no problem. Um, but I've got these now, so uh, these will do the job. So they're great. And talking of that axe, uh, new axe handle, because I'm going to refurb that axe, probably do a video on that perhaps, might, some people might find it of interest. Um, I bought it from an old, uh, this old guy who had a stall at a steam engine rally a couple of years ago. Uh, the handle was completely, has got woodworm right through it, so that needs replacing, so... Uh, my wife very kindly bought me that because this is the sort of thing where I'll get these projects and I mean to do them but then they might sit in a box for the best part of a year because um, I haven't got around to picking up the bits that I need so uh, I can get going on that, it's quite a simple uh, job uh, I've got these little tyre pressure uh, valve caps so when your tyre pressure starts getting low it gives you a warning uh, based on the pressure of your tyre. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how they work. I haven't got anything like that. My cars are too old to have TP is it, uh, tyre pressure something system. TPMS is it? I can't remember. Anyway, um, it's something I've thought about putting on the, uh, the MR2 but I'm not going to have tyres spun off uh, until I'm ready to change tyres and then I perhaps might buy that system then. So, like them. And then last but no means least is a set of, that's a nine piece set of wobble bar extensions. And these have three bars of quarter inch, three eighths and um, half inch. They come in a storage tray, which is nice. Because sometimes with these things in, in your tool chests, the, you know, when they're rattling around and things, it would be nice to have things in a tray. And these come in the tray. Oh, tape on them. Hang on a second. Let's find some scissors. So let's just grab a socket. So that's a 3 8. So if you've never come across these before, and to be honest, I hadn't until I started seeing a few um, toolbox tools. Uh, and I must get on and do a toolbox tour at some point, I guess. People might be interested to see that, I don't know. Um, Snap-on, obviously, do a super-duper version, but your wobble bar, you can get a bit of leverage where if you haven't got uh, enough space, you can offset the bar a bit. But if you need it on, then it does uh, lock on there. And um, you can have it as a wobble or a straight, you know, straight lined extension. So they are going to come in really useful, certainly uh, with uh, fixing cars and things where it always seems to be the case that if you are not got your car on a ramp, and I certainly don't have the luxury of that, I do everything on my drive, you um, need just that bit of extra, extra space uh, with a socket and bar perhaps. Uh, they're nicely finished, they're polished chrome, chrome vanadium uh, with a wobble end come in the tray uh, by Nielsen part number is CT1232 so yeah so overall I did brilliantly uh, for Christmas uh, super spoiled by my family and uh, I shall now have uh, some fun putting these away and find a home for these in the tool chests. So if you like the video, if you like to see more tool haul uh, videos, because I'm sort of experimenting a bit at the moment as to 
uh, what will work for people who view my channel and, and what won't. Um, let me know in the comments or give the video uh, a thumbs up so I've got a good idea. And um, for those of you who have joined the channel for the MR2 uh, Spider or Roadster videos, uh, I've got a lot of projects coming in 2018 and now I've got a good base of operations as it were to be able to get on and do those then um, they are going to get done so I shall do a bit of an update video on the MR2 soon uh, I'm going to be changing the battery in the next few days I've got bought a gel battery for that uh, so anyway I better wrap this up because I've um, been going on for a little while it's gone on for quite a time so uh, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you on the next one bye for now